Hello, in this video I'm going to briefly discuss common method variance, also known as common method bias, and then show you how to use Jamovi to test this concept. First off, common method bias is, I found this simple definition for you, common method bias is normally prevalent in studies where data is both independent and dependent variables are attained from the same person in the same measurement context using the same item context and similar item characteristics. What does that mean? Well, if you are measuring something like, let's say, spirituality and well-being, well, if you're measuring them using a survey that's, that's sent out to, let's say, in my study, doctors and nurses, and a doctor takes that, and they are you're now looking at both the independent and dependent variable on that survey, well, there should not be common method bias if you're measuring two different things. If it is prevalent, that means you're the basic, def the basic way of describing it is you're measuring the same thing. There's something going on there. there there's, there's, there's this common method bias. If you want to learn more about the, the details of that, go ahead and look that up. But for now, we just want to know, well, how do we test this and what are we looking for? So for those of you that simply want to do that and uh, not necessarily understand the math and really a, a deeper level meaning of that, here's how you do that. So in Jamovi, we're going to press factor principal component analysis, the rotation we want at none. We want a fixed number of one components. So there's one component. And we want the component summary. What I'm going to do is first I will select two items for you. You can see here that when selecting two items, the percentage of variance is 80.7. The value we are looking for is 50%. If it's above 50%, we have common method bias. It is to be expected that we would have common method bias because I selected two items from the same measure of the same construct. These are both measuring the same thing, in other words. So that's to be expected. Now, let's watch what happens. I will select the remaining items from that measure, which it's measuring actually three factors. And sure enough, the percentage of variance is 31.8. That is also to be expected because in that one measure, we're measuring three different things, three different constructs. I will go ahead and also add this fourth factor, which this is actually from a totally different measure, included in the same survey, but this is measuring self-efficacy. It's something very different than the others. And sure enough, that also decreased the percentage of variance to 24. Significantly below 50%. We are shooting for anywhere below 50%, but it's definitely lower than that. So common method bias is not prevalent in this study, and that's what I would report.